What's up to all of my fitness people of the internet and to those of you who are not subscribed to my channel for fitness, welcome. I'm going to talk about fitness so if you don't like this, click away. But if you want to get into fitness then you, this can be an introductory thing. Check it out. A bunch of you guys have been asking me what my current fitness goals are, what's going on with fitness, what am I doing, do you even lift anymore, blah blah blah. I've seen it all in the comment section, I've seen it all on Instagram and not so much on Twitter because the people on Twitter keep it really lax. So I wanted to give you guys a a bit of an update on what is going on with me. So this is just gonna be some of my goals, kind of what's been going on, and all that. So yes, I absolutely do still lift. I'm currently being coached by Omar and Nigel and Silent Mike of Ascendant Athletics, and a lot of people were like, okay, you're doing a powerlifting program, but your numbers are staying relatively the same. So guys, I was in the middle of one of my first real cuts, and it was really freaking hard. I think I dropped about 10 pounds. I was really, really weak, I was really tired, and I was just a total baby about the whole thing. So I just naturally wasn't able to put on a whole bunch of strength during that time. All of it was probably mental. Then I finished my cut when I was in LA and I kind of just stopped tracking altogether for the month that I was in LA and it was awesome. I began doing the intuitive eating and I slowly crept my way back up to about 115 to 118 pounds. I like fluctuate in between those and I wasn't following a program for that month. I literally was just kind of taking the month off. I was still working out, still going to the gym regularly, but not really following a specific program. I would just kind of go in and do like four to five sets of a specific workout and I would just focus on legs that day or just focus on back and buys or whatever the case may be. I really do enjoy that lifestyle and I've had a lot of support from Omar and Nigel during that time. They were like, hey, do your thing, just enjoy it, and when you're ready to get back on, let's start up again. So that brings me to my current fitness goals. I've, ha I've had people in the comment section say things like, oh, this girl, like, the only thing that's improved is her butt, like, there's been no real growth and all that stuff. Guys, I don't really care. Like, I'm not doing this to get this, like, crazy, insane body. Like, fitness is just a part of my life, and it's changed my life for the better. If I don't have the biggest biceps, if I don't have these crazy traps or delts or quads, I don't really care. Like, I'm just doing this to maintain a healthy lifestyle, and it makes me feel good. If I happen to get muscle along the way, then freaking rad. Not everybody has to work out with the hope of developing size. A lot of people just want to build strength, and a lot of people just want to feel healthy. So please understand that those comments don't hurt me. And yes, you're right, my butt <laughs> is constantly growing. So as of right now, my current fitness goals, like literally as of two days ago, I'm actually cutting. I'm doing a quick mini cut for the next two weeks before Vegas. I will be at the Olympia and I am so excited. So any of my fitness people who are still around, if you are going to be at the Olympia, please be sure to come by the Quest booth on Saturday. I will be posting that on Instagram, but I will be there from 12 to three doing a meet and greet with a whole bunch of other YouTubers. It's going to be such a blast. So I'm doing a quick cut for that because you know your girl's gonna be going out. We're probably gonna be going to the pool. Like I wanna be somewhat lean. I'm not gonna be crazy lean. I'm only cutting for two weeks, but I just wanna do a quick mini cut. Now with that said, I have reached out to Omar and Nigel and told them that I am ready to get back on program again because after this two week cut, we're going into the furry season. We're going into winter. So I'm ready to kind of put on some weight and hopefully start building some strength. I think that now I'm in a much stronger mental state and I'm feeling a lot better physically. So I think that lifting some heavy weight is going to feel really good. So you guys will get to follow that along through my vlogs and stuff. When I post my workouts, you guys will totally get to see that there. It's going to be nice to get back onto program. I may end up sticking with intuitive eating and just tracking my protein to make sure I hit my protein, but I may just go back to tracking. I don't really know. We'll see. I'll talk to Nigel and Omar again soon to kind of figure that part out, but that's, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. My workouts will include a lot of bodybuilding and powerlifting workouts, so it's going to be a mixture of everything as it kind of always has been. So that is my current fitness goals. If you guys want me to stick with that Strictly Lifting series where it was just me recording my workouts and then talking over them and then uploading that and that was it. Or if you'd rather me just keep it in my vlogs the way that it used to be, comment below and let me know. The last thing that I want to say before this video ends, there was a period where I wanted to coach people because I felt confident enough in giving people macros, becoming like a macro coach for these people. 
but it felt a little hypocritical once I started approaching intuitive eating and now I just feel like there's so much knowledge behind it all that I just would hate to do it and half-ass it and not give you guys the best that you deserve. So ladies, I know a bunch of you have been asking me how to track your macros. I'm going to link one of my favorite fitness YouTubers and that's Michael Corey. He has a whole three video series of how to track your macros for yourself and he does a really wonderful job of explaining it if you don't want to actually pay for a coach. So those videos will be linked down below. I am learning just like you guys. You don't have to know every single thing to put up fitness videos and have fun and inspire other people who are at the beginning of their journeys like yourself. So that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you want more like little current fitness goal updates and things like that, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And like I said, don't forget to comment below with the style that you like most, strictly lifting style or quick sped up fitness routine intertwined into my vlogs. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. I love you guys to absolute pieces and peace.